Welcome to our 31-day Summer Healing Crusade. Open your heart to receive today's devotional. Heal me, O Lord, Day 5. Today's Bible reading, Matthew 4, healing every disease. Jesus was going throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness among the people. Matthew 4, 23. Think of all the problems people faced. There were all types of sickness and disease. Some were minor, some were major. Some cases were terminal, while others seemed trivial. There were both mental and physical ailments. Some people had suffered for years and given up hope. Others had been abused or beaten. Jesus encountered people who were demon-possessed or afflicted with epilepsy. Some were paralyzed, while others were blind or deaf. Some simply were confused or troubled. As Jesus traveled through Galilee, people brought the sick to him. No matter what sickness or problem they faced, Jesus healed them all. Some people believe that this kind of healing no longer takes place. But the Bible tells us Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8. He's the same as he was that day in Galilee, he's the same Savior who healed every disease and solved every kind of problem. The Bible even shows us that healing was central to the gospel proclamation, for Jesus healed and delivered people as he was proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. Right now, you may be facing health issues. Perhaps you feel confusion or mental strain, or maybe you're feeling emotionally unsettled. People may have told you that your situation is hopeless. Don't be discouraged or afraid. Instead of giving up, picture yourself as one of the people who came to Jesus in Galilee, filled with expectation and faith. Believe that he can heal every sickness and every disease. He can provide for every need you face. Accept his healing. Receive his power. Believe. Dear Lord Jesus, I bring my needs and the needs of these people to you. I believe you can heal every disease and solve every problem in your name. Lord, we don't make an issue as to whether the cause is medical, such as uh, Mark chapter 1 with Peter's mother-in-law, the fever that he rebuked, or whether it is spiritual, such as Luke 13.10, the woman who'd been bent over for 18 years. And according to Jesus, it was not primarily a medical problem, but a spirit that was afflicting her as a daughter of Abraham. Father, these are your partners. These are your children. These are your co-laborers in reaching this world for your son. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we take dominion over every affliction in their bodies. We send the pain away. We go to the root cause and correct it. Even as Ezekiel in chapter 37 said, was told to pro prophesy over the bones. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them total wholeness to your glory. Same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, according to Romans 8.11. Bless them now in Jesus' name.